Welcome to VehicleAccessoryReviews.com. So today we're going to give you a demonstration of the Garmin Nuvi 3490 LMT GPS. So for the purpose of this video we're going to show you how to get from point A to point B using uh, the speech recognition feature. This is a feature that allows you to navigate with voice, com uh, with voice prompts. Uh, they can be set in 15 different languages including three variations of English, American, British and Australian. And you can wake up the device to start voice recognition with a customizable order and begin speaking menu options displayed on the screen. So you can do a voice search uh, for a point of interest by saying the name of the place, restaurant or store and then choose among the results provided. Or for residential destinations, you can simply search by saying the address. So our wake up order is voice command. Say a command. Find place. Speak the name of a place. Lowe's. Searching for Lowe's. Select a line number. One. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. All right, so it's just calculated the route. It's going to tell us how to get there. And here we begin. So let's have a look at the screen, what it says here. So uh, it tells you where to go at the very top. At the bottom you have the direction, driving east. In the middle is your speed. And at the bottom right corner is the estimated arrival time, which in this case is 11.45. So what we like about this Nuvi on the exterior is the fact that it's very thin and sleek. It has a thinness of less than nine millimeters. Uh, it's got a 4.3 inch high resolution touch screen. This is a good screen size, it's a good compromise between large and small. Uh, it has a two piece windshield mount that doubles as a second speaker. So that's good for uh, extra loud pronunciation, let's say with you know, you know, you're driving, you got road noise or you got the radio playing music, so this um, the windshield mount that attaches to the Nuvi doubles. Drive. Then turn left on Route 340. As a second speaker. So if you look in the middle here, it tells you your speed in accordance to the speed limit of the road you're driving on. Currently, its speed limit is 30, and we're doing 35. So this, the the, uh, the speed that you're driving on appears in red. If ever it happens that you're you're exceeding the speed limit, then uh, right away it tells you just so that you're aware that you're going over what uh, what you should be driving right. at. To I 87 South. As you're able to hear, it um, it gives uh, street and street and road information, uh, such as turn restrictions, roundabout guidance, and speed limits. Uh, your current driving speed is listed in the middle, as I mentioned, uh, and will change color to red if ever you're uh, you're exceeding the speed, the prescribed speed limit of the road that you're on. Now the speed limit increased to 65 as we're on the highway. We're currently doing 35, driving south. Um, also, with regards to this particular, um... Continue 3.6 miles, then take exit 37, on right, to route 3. With this particular movie, the touchscreen is capacitive, meaning that it will respond to taps and slight touches without you having to mash your finger on the screen when typing in an address. However, capacitive screens will only respond to direct contact with skin. So if you're wearing driving gloves or winter gloves, then you'll need to take them off to use the Nuvi. It has a 60 foot, 60 inch, which is five feet long power cord when fully stretched. You can look at that power cord here. So that's great if ever your 12 volt outlet is located uh, in the center console or if you're using the main one in the front for let's say like a radar detector or an MP3 charger, you can, uh, you've got plenty of cable length to plug it into your armrest or even, or even in the back seat if you have a 12 volt outlet in the back seat. So very good to have this uh, excellent cord length uh, and it comes with the 3D traffic receiver antenna which is this antenna here, this little uh, rectangular shaped box and uh, this provides uh, reception for real-time traffic alerts it tells you a couple of minutes and a couple of miles in advance 
if ever there's uh, traffic situations, uh, if ever there's congestions, and it provides alternate routes with an estimation of um, of how you of how many minutes you will save. And uh, these in route traffic updates are incredibly useful, particularly when driving through unfamiliar areas. If you're not sure, uh, certain highways may have um, serious congestion. For example, uh, rush hour. So that's what the uh, the antenna does. Um, it also has the city navigation feature, which shows you points of interest on the map, such as hotels, restaurants, parking, entertainments, ATMs, gas stations, shopping malls, as you're driving, sometimes with a company logo, like for restaurants and hotels. Uh, it also includes highway numbers, uh, interstates and businesses. And uh, the, most inc the most useful feature of this GPS is the lifetime maps and traffic. That's what LMT stands for. So you can download the most up-to-date maps free of charge. These can be uh, up to five times, four times a year. But usually the way it works is you get an email from Garmin advising you that an update is ready to be downloaded. And these maps are for North America, meaning uh, Canada, US, and Mexico, uh, free. You can buy other parts, maps for other parts of the world, like certain parts of Europe, Asia, even Africa, uh, for a fee on the Garmin website. And uh, the free updates uh, will ensure that the accuracy of the information provided will never be outdated, such as new uh, housing developments or uh, road name, road number or name changes. Uh, sometimes these things can affect uh, the direction, so by having the most up-to-date maps... One point, one miles, take exit 37, on right, to route 3, then turn right. You'll never have updated, outdated information. As you heard, these, uh, the G GPS comes with voice prompted turn-by-turn -turn directions that guide you to your destination by speaking street names and, and instructions. They tell you several times in advance when you're getting close to a street to turn or the exit you have to take. And uh, they tell you how many feet or miles the intersection from where you have to turn is, which is great. So that, that way, by reminding you several times, you'll know not to miss your exit or, or the turn that you have to take, the street you have to be on. Uh, another feature great for road trips is called multi-point routing. This allows you to pre-plan multiple addresses. It helps you to identify and mark uh, hotel or motel stops, rest areas, notable places to see. 37, on right, to route three, then turn right. So what we have now here is called a photoreal junction view. So half the screen tells you, shows you a photoreal representation of the highway access ramp or exit exactly as it appears in real life with an exact depiction of the highway exit sign with a bright arrow showing where to go and in which lane to be in on the ramp or exit. The other half of the screen on the left has the standard above view map. And uh, it has... Turn right on Highway 3, then turn right. It has photoreal junction views for over 60,000 interchanges, circles, and junctions in the U.S. and Canada. Feature is useful uh, for like navigating through familiar or complex highway junctions just to make sure that you're in the right lane and that you take the right exit and uh, as it appears in real life as well so you can uh, you can make it correspond to signs signs on the road which is really useful definitely a very useful feature to have for this particular uh, GPS And the speed limits change as well as you're getting on from uh, from a highway exit to uh, to a more residential street. You see here we're still on the exit, so the speed is 65. And now that we're on a main street, it drops down to 40. And what you see here, you see some points of interest. It shows you here two restaurants on the screen. The red car is where, where you're currently located, and the checkered flag that you see here, that is your destination. That tells you where, you're, uh, where you have to go, where uh, the address that you entered, so. And all, elsewhere on the screen, if you see here, this green bubble, this is part of the, uh, the traffic updates. So currently the road that we're on, the traffic situation is, uh, is green. If ever there was some slight congestion, that bubble would change to yellow. And if ever there's severe traffic congestion, it would turn to red. So this is part of the 3D traffic updates. 
currently everything is green and on the top left you have where to turn so it tells us that in 500 feet we're gonna have to make a right turn and to be in the right lane and we're currently stopped and we're on center drive so all the information is listed you see you have a shell up there that's part of the um, the city navigator feature so it tells you that a gas station is just up ahead and there's two restaurants if ever you're you're an unfamiliar street and you turn stop right for a bite center drive, then, turn right. then you know where the restaurants are located and the heart that you see there uh, with uh, inside of a green square that is one of your favorites that's one of the destinations that you've recorded as a as a place that you've saved Turn right on center drive. And you see $2 signs, those are ATMs. At home improvement on right. And it tells you when you've arrived at your destination. And uh, yep, that's basically how it works. This is, this is the GPS from point A to point B with the, with the speech recognition feature.